Welcome to July's Lico Challenge. This problem is called Reshape the Matrix. You can see I've missed a bunch of problems last week, so I apologize for that. I'll be trying to uh, catch up uh, throughout, the, throughout the month. Alright, so in MATLAB, there is a handy function called reshape, which I'm well aware of, which can reshape an m times n matrix into a new one with a different size, r times c, keeping the original data. You are given an m times n matrix, and two integers, r and c, representing the row and column numbers of the wanted reshaped matrix. Now, the reshaped matrix should be filled with all the elements of the original matrix in the same row traversing order as they were. So that's just row to column, one, two, three, four, in that order. Now, if the shape, uh, reshape operation uh, is possible and legal, output the new reshaped matrix. Otherwise, output the original matrix. So it's possible we're given rows and columns that don't make sense. For instance, two and four, we're not going to be able to <clears throat> reshape this matrix into a two by four matrix because we don't have enough data. All right, so they give you a bunch of hints here, but before we do that, I think as soon as you see the problem, um, you can kind of see probably the easiest way would be to flatten our original matrix and just re-traverse that and put it into a new shaped array. Um, so let's not overcomplicate it. Let's just try to see if that's possible. Uh, first thing we'll do is get the n and m, which is the length of the matrix, zero, and length of matrix here. Now, the first thing I want to do is check to see if this is even possible. So if n times m does not equal t, that means this isn't even possible. So just return the matrix immediately. Now, if this is possible, let's first initialize a temporary ar ar array here. Our output, which is just going to be for blank in range of, let's see, this would be columns, and we want these for blank in range of the rows. So this will be our output, but how do we populate this with our original matrix? Well, um, that's going to be hard. So why don't we just flatten it by putting into a temporary array first? That would be the easiest way. So what we'll do is say for, uh, let's see, um, our original matrix i in range of m and for j in range of n let's just add to our temporary array the matrix i and j right here so once we have that that actually makes it pretty easy you can just say have a counter here and say for mm, let's see i in range of our new matrix shape which would be what rows for j in range of c and then we are going to add to our um, our output i j but we need to take it from our temporary array here so this would be k and each time we do this we're going to increase our k by one finally return our output and that should be it let's see here if this works looks like it does so there you go, that gets accepted. This is a n times m solution. We do use n times m space because of our output. Um, but this is two passes, right? And we do use some memory here. There is a clever way that you could avoid doing this. Um, and they give you the formula right here. What we can do is take our count and then divide it by um, the columns. And that's gonna allow us to do this in one pass. Uh, what I mean is, let's get rid of this. And instead of traversing a little, like like this here, what we can do is take our k, we're going to, let's see, divide it by the column, and we're going to take our k and do a modular by the columns. And this will, will actually be n, I'm sorry, m times n, take the matrix i, J. So this would be one pass. It's still the same time complexity, but let's see if this works. Uh oh, uh, K. Oh. Okay, so K is basically the total count of cells. Okay, that looks like it's working, so let's submit it. 
And there we go. So that's slightly faster, um, but really <clears throat> both approaches should work. This, I feel like um, it's a, you know, one of those formulas that if you aren't aware of, I think it'd be hard to come up with, but if you do come up with it, that's, that's awesome. Good job. So, all right. Okay. Well, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.